I read it with me. Well, you, you, don't, you, you can read it with me. If you can see it, I don't need I can read it. Just you go can't? Ahead. Lamas and masses of peaceful and <laughs> mild and fierce deities. You have to edit it to read. Lamas and masses of mild and fierce deities. Dharma protectors who watch over goodness. I offer this prayer to you. Spontaneously fulfill and pacify all obstacles to every aspiration conventional and supreme. The precious human form so rare to attain is quickly crushed by terrifying death. When death strikes, it is useful to the living do what they can to help the deceased. Therefore, I write this ritual which produces positive attitudes conducive to pure rebirth through the whispered methods of the secret Vajrayana. So then, then, you know, then do blah, 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 it's creation. It creates himself as the deity, like the writer on all the generous division of the external deity. So we're really associated with Shiva, right? The deity, the deity. Well, this is the, what? What? Oh, uh, you missed a phone call. Oh, you must have missed a phone call. I did? Yeah. Music was coming. Oh. Someone was calling you. Yeah. Someone calling? Might have been the blah blah. Oh. <laughs> 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 Never mind, I don't know what it is. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, Tumbaja Sadra Hongja, and the powers of truth, Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha, the power of truth, the Buddha family, is the power of the Vajrayana, the Padma Karma, and the hearts of Buddhas and Mantras and myriad of meditation data, especially by the truth, is the diamond killer of death, the destroyer of death. I hate it. Why do they talk to me like that? Killer of death. When you kill death, then even death can't die. Uh -huh. So Yama doesn't get killed. He just has hands on his head, how he has to bathe himself. And is that sitting on his head with a Mahaya uh, buffalo head? I don't know. I Usually don't know. Yama is shown as having well, yeah, Mahaya buffalo head. That's why Yamantara has that yeah, buffalo head. Yeah. Mahaya head. Mahaya buffalo, you know. Mm -hmm. So, warm weather buffalo with no shaggy hair. You know. Dinosaur of death, the killer of death. The killer of death means no death, you know. When death dies, then no one can die. So death can't kill anybody, even himself. And the message of Master Day Social is Mangala and by the blessed truth itself, in the consciousness of such and such of uh, Ramdas, Baba Ramdas, uh, come here right now in one moment in the time it takes for a single thought to arrive in one instant from wherever he may be wandering in the bardo of becoming, in the between of becoming, in any of the three realms of the world, in the six realms of existence, the ocean of living beings born in any of the four ways. Lights in the form of hooks emanate from my heart. They hook the consciousness of the deceased, which is in the form of a radiant letter, ah, pulling it into the body of the deceased, why the crown of his or her head comes to rest at the deceased's heart. So we think of the being in the picture now. We, we bring the consciousness of Baba Ram Das into the picture. May all misery be locked outside the mandala, and he's in the mandala of this you know, Vajra Bhairava, great bliss being. May, may all misery be locked outside the many enlightenment beings of Mandala, protect those in the lower realms and the agitation of any kind of pain. To Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha, we turn for refuge home. Bhajra, Pane, home, pay. May the evils and karmic stains of those living in the miserable realm be destroyed. When those unfortunate beings pass away, may they be reborn before the feet of an enlightened being. A white home appears the crown of the head of the deceased, a red eye at the throat, and a blue horn at the heart. Everything becomes seen as emptiness. From the sphere of emptiness appears the syllable run. This becomes a raging fire of wisdom. Suddenly the fierce Vajra warrior appears at its center. His body is dark blue in color. His hands hold a Vajra and a bell. His mouth is stretched open fiercely. Turning attention to the deceased, I visualize that on the soles of his or her feet there appear air mandala, wind mandalas from the air, shaped like half moon. At his navel is a raging fire of wisdom. At his heart stands a syllable symbolizing negative karma, the black syllable pun, embodiment of all evil traits and karmic traits of body and speech of mind, of all observations to liberation on this earth. Light from the wisdom fire at the deceased navel envelop the black syllable pun with the heart and force it to leave the body via the nostril. It transforms into the sesame seeds to be burned in the fire, right? Imagine they were burning sesame seeds. Um, but the dark home day, um, but the dark home day, um, but the dark home day. I command the negative karmic stains and obscurations to liberate the enlightenment of this deceased person who is called 
Baba Ramdas, we pacified, we pacified, we pacified, Shanti, 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 Prashanti, 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 uh, Om Sarvapadam, Om Prem, and this deceased person who is called Baba Ramdas, be instantly free from evil tendencies, obscuration, liberation, enlightenment, karmic propensities for rebirth in any of the three lower realms. May he quickly attain clear ultimate enlightenment, Om Sarvapadam, Om Prem. The world, this water and nature, generosity itself, cleanse away still I need water. But just give me that flower pot there for the white flower. No water. Yes. No water. Anyone have water? <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I Thank you. you. Teamwork. <laughs> uh, give me one flower. Well, this is such a nice bunch of water. Do I have a glass or something? I don't want to pour a piece of water. I tell you what, pour, no, please give me the vase and, uh, and we'll take it uh, and we'll take these flowers out and then pour some of the water in the vase. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> This water in nature, generosity itself, cleanses away stains of selfishness into souls of special excellence. Thus do we wash him, visualize before us. Any evil actions, negative karmas, and mental obscurations that this person called Baba Ramdas, who has passed beyond life and gone to the other side of the world, has collected all of the countless previous lives since beginning of time, especially all pains of the afflictive emotion of selfishness, be cleansed and purified, and may he fully accomplish the perfection of generosity and quickly attain the clear highest enlightenment. This water and nature discipline itself, or ethics itself, cleanses away stains of consciousness. And bestows a special excellence that do we wash him, visualize before us. We all visualize, you know, Ramdas's actual body there in the in the other dimension, and that we are we are you're all doing this, you're not just leaving it, I'm doing what everyone is doing. And we are all, because it doesn't work, I've done this with those people, and everyone has to put their mind into it, and then it works. And we're just cleansing things. And we're not saying that anything, he did anything in this life, but everybody has had immeasurable previous lives, and they've done every conceivable thing. Everybody's already been there, done that, and everything. And so we're cleansing all of that here. It comes with the transcendence, transcendent virtues. May any evil actions so have been with this person called Baba Ramdas pass beyond life and on the other side of the world as Krekko Kavis people from doing this time that the old stains of mental distortion of carelessness be cleansed and purified and may he she fully accomplish the perfection of ethics and quickly attain their highest enlightenment. This water and nature patience itself cleanses away stains of anger and bestows a special excellence. Thus do we wash him, her, visualized before us. So this is like what you do, you know, washing a body. This water and nature, enthusiastic, creative energy, cleanse all sins and apathy, so, so a special action does. Do we wash him, visualize before us? Apathy, be cleansed and purified. This water, nature, meditation, concentration, cleanses stains of mental wandering and bestows a special excellence. Thus, to be washed and visualized before us. Distorting factors of mental wandering and dullness, be cleansed and purified. May he, she, fully accomplish the perfection of 
Meditative concentration is quickly attained to the highest enlightenment. This water and nature wisdom cleanses stains of all ignorance and bestows a special excellence. Thus do we wash and visualize before us in the month of the <coughs> In the evil act of native farmers and mental obstruction, this person calls such and such with as their life and goes to the other side of the world. Especially all stains with the mental distortion, ignorance, be cleansed and purified, and may he fully accomplish the perfection of wisdom and perfect stain, clear highest enlightenment. By washing with these six waters, the six stains of the mind are washed away, and the six bodhisattva perfections gain to him. Thus, cleansed of failings, we pay homage. Om your mind to Samaya Manapala, I must have been a bit of a devil, the job of the job of the world, 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 the with faith in making devotion to his Guru, the Enlightened One, who possessed the six excellent perfections of fully perfection sixteen, and performed this cleansing ritual of the Mantika Samaya, Manabalaya, Mantika then attachment, hatred, and ignorance, these are the worldly poisons, may the Enlightened One to possess no poisons, crush all poisons by the force of Buddha light, of the Mantika Samaya, Manabalaya, Mantika in the evil actions they have heard middle of the street, this person holds such and such fast down life, called Baba Ramda, fast down life, from the other side of the world, sexual sins and psychic poison arise, the force of mental distortion, afflicted emotions, he cleanses and purifies, and may he she quickly attain clear highest enlightenment. Attached with the virtue of these the worldly poisons, may the dharma which possesses no poisons, crush all poisons by the force of dharma life, in the evil actions, they will come with mental observations. In principle, such and such was past God. The principle of Babaramda, the past God life on the other side of the world. The so all stains of the psychic poisons that arise from forces of mental distortion, be cleansed and purified. And may he, she, quickly attain clear ultimate enlightenment. Attachment of virtue and ignorance, these are the worldly poisons made in Sangha, that's us who possess no poisons. Crush all poison by the force of Sangha light. When you want to go somewhere, I'm going to put it in the middle of the day, the most is your mind, 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 the most is your the soul of stains of the psychic poison that arise from the forces of mental distortion, be cleansed and purified, and may he see quickly and gain clear highest enlightenment. Now we do, we help him be free of the primal elements, you know, which are the you know earth, water, fire, and wind. And uh, okay, I do just chant this. It would be great if you could chant, but you can't read it. Why don't you take this one? You can chant it, but it would help me. Can you read? Wait, come on. <laughs> Earth is the mother of the psychic poison. Earth is the father of the psychic poisons, too. By the power of these words of truth, may the deceased psychic poisons become nothing. Poisons return to Earth. Poisons go into the vessel of hardness. Aha. Poisonous elements and poisons which arise from the elements separate from the element earth, dissolve into the element earth. May the element earth of the deceased be purified and made manifest in the pure nature of the Dakini Lotana, that's a female Buddha. <clears throat> so here, you know, the, 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 the body of the, of the deceased visualized ourselves lying there waiting for cremation, but this whole ritual has to do with the consciousness of the deceased being worrying about their body because, you know, uh, they, and they, you know, Bhagavan just may be completely beyond this and simply sitting in the lap of, of the Obi Wan luminous body, post death luminous body, immortal, clear light body of Guruji, Maharaji. But never mind, we are always acting like, the, you know, worst case, these rituals are taking care of any kind of worst case. So what we are doing is we're taking any kind of things in the subtle mind and body 
of Bhagavanda at this time, and putting it into the coarse element that's going to be burned, namely the earth element, which is the hardness element. If you follow me, earth means a hard thing. It's really amazing. And, and, then, and then earth absorbs that because earth itself is the Buddha Lotana, which means the Buddha eye. So it's a, it's a goddess, and her name is Lotana, which means the eye. And uh, she's really beautiful, white color to it, and she's amazing. Water is the mother of the psychic, and why is it to put psychic poison? They're just poisons. The two syllables are being pronounced. Water is the mother of the poison, or is the father of the poisons too. For the power of these words of truth, may the deceased poisons become nothing. Poisons return to water. Poisons go into the vessel of fluidity. Swaha. May the water element of the deceased be purified and may it manifest in the pure nature of the Dakini, female Buddha Mamaki. And she's yellow, golden color. And that's a water element. Fire is the mother of the psyche. Fire is the mother of the poison. Fire is the father of the poisons too. By the power of these words of truth, may the deceased poisons become nothing. Poisons return to fire. Poisons go into the vessel of heat. Salaha. May the element of fire of the deceased be purified and may it manifest in the pure nature of the Dakini Pandara. Wind is the mother of the poisons. Wind is the father of the psychic po of the poisons too. By the power of these words of truth, may the deceased poisons become nothing. Poisons return to the wind, because why I say wind, not air, because it means movement. But wind actually is simply motion. It's energy. Poisons return to the wind. The poisons go into the vessel of movement, motility. Swaha. May the wind element of the disease be purified and may it manifest in the nature of the Dakini Tara, Samayatara. And she is green color, green complexion, emerald. The master then chants the following of his verses, also in flower at the conclusion of the. The saints, and Michael, can you toss the flower toward the picture? The saints and the holy ones having peaceful mourning in each verse that have passed beyond, or take a petal or two, I don't know how you can mess. The peaceful and the fast beyond home from false and totally crushed stains of attachment will bring good goodness and joy to you. The spiritual masters who direct beings to the path of ultimate freedom and reveal every truth will bring good goodness and joy to you, especially your spiritual master who directs you to the path of ultimate freedom and reveal every truth brings but goodness and joy to you. The teacher who supports the living beings who, for the sake of the world, guide secrets of the land of bliss will bring but goodness and joy to you. The saints with hearts of love regard each and every living being as a mother does her only child. They will bring but goodness and joy to you. The bodhisattvas who act as a home and a friend to help and support every living being, surfing in the sea of becoming, will bring but goodness and joy to you. They who appear as spiritual heroes to, to bestow everything sublime and to fulfill all hopes of the world will bring but goodness and joy to you. Those whose very birth call in the earth and its forest to quiver in all, and living beings to weep in bliss, will bring but goodness and joy to you. They who, when past their enlightenment, cause the six worlds to shake, and evil people to be filled with anxiety, will bring but goodness and joy to you. They who turn the wheel of Dharma and speak the four truths seen by the noble ones, by manifesting as a muni, a sage, will bring but goodness and joy to you. They who, with the power of beauty, tumble the wrong views of sophists and tame the wild minds of barbarians will bring but goodness and joy to you. May the enlightened ones bring you every joy and may every goodness of humans and gods. May they bring you happiness surpassing that of the most powerful divinity. May the enlightened ones who have merits and thoughts more sublime than all the gods fulfill you this very day your each and every hope for goodness. May the enlightened ones bring joy to mankind. May they bring harmony to the animal kingdom. May they bring the world to the way of truth and in future. May they hold us all in happiness. May they bring joy day and night and during dawn and dusk as well. May they encourage every happiness by imparting the joy of spiritual knowledge. May they bring joy day and night and at noon and at midnight as well. May they give us every happiness by showing the ways through which evil is cleansed. May this person called Baba Ramdas, who has passed beyond life and gone to the other side of the world, be freed from rebirth in the lower realms of samsara. May he take rebirth in a happy place. May all interferences to this be overcome, and may every auspicious sign manifest. At this point in the ritual, the master reads a version of a scripture in the cycle known as pointing out the nature of the between. We have many varieties of texts in this genre. A brief version is as follows. Not so brief. 
Ah, so be it. Oh, you who are called Baba Ramdas, who have died and gone to the other side of the world, listen to us now. You are dead. Your old body has been left behind, but a new one has not yet been found. This is the state of existence called the between of the coming. You must understand that this is precisely the situation you are in. How can you know that you're in the between? Many strange and fearful sights, unlike anything you have beheld before, are occurring. This is a sign that you are in the between. Also, the powers of the bodily energies of the earth element have failed, and therefore you are experiencing sounds of mountains cracking open and the earth trembling, and above the earth everything seems to be disintegrating and falling, and a rain of stones is pelting down. The energy of the water element has failed, and consequently the terrifying sensations of sinking in the middle of a huge ocean is occurring. The energy of the fire element has failed, and therefore it seems that fire is blazing everywhere and terrifying sounds as of crackling fire, crackling and the rushing of flames are exploding in your ears and pounding in your heart. Finally, because the energy of wind is reversed, you feel as though you are standing in the midst of the great windstorm that marks the end of an age and you are overcome by terror. These very, various terrifying events are all signs that you have died and are now in the between. As well, there are also the six distant signs. Previously, things like mountains and walls would obstruct your free movement. But now nothing does, and you can go anywhere you wish merely by thinking about it. Previously, you would have had to make an effort to accomplish anything. But now everything is effortless. Also, before, when you would speak to friends or relatives, an answer would be forthcoming. But now nobody answers anything you say. As for mental indications, no light comes from the sun and moon, and your between body casts no shadow. These are the six sure signs that you have died and are now in the between. There are also the six signs of unstable behavior which indicate a lack of security and continuity. These are as follows. Continually moving through places known and unknown, sometimes in beautiful places and sometimes in ugly, frightening ones. Being inside many environments in rapid succession such as forests and temples and so forth. One moment walking and the next eating, sleeping or sitting. Changing reactions to food, which sometimes will seem good and the next will seem putrid. The uncertainty of companionship, which one moment will seem friendly and the next seems strange or intimidating. And lastly, the instability of thought patterns, which oscillate from one subject to another. The appearance of these six signs of unstable behavior indicate that you have died and are now in the between. Furthermore, the Lord of Death, great Yama, will appear to you with eyes blazing like fire. His agents, huge and fierce, will throw their sharp weapons at you. Many people of the opposite sex, some beautiful and some ugly, will appear to you and try to allure your mind. And you will meet with great spirits of judgment who will account lot your life deeds with black and white pebbles, tallying up the bad and the good. Your mind will be difficult to control and will stray wherever fancy takes it. These are sure signs that you have died and are now in the between. Notice them and recognize that you are a predicament, that now you are in the between and make sure that you realize that you are not still alive. If you are headed for rebirth in the lower realms, you will see buried for burnt forests, smoke and the like. Alternatively, if you are headed for rebirth in the higher realms, you will behold signs such as gold and a white virgin wool. Of course, it is wonderful if the signs of a high rebirth appear, but even if negative signs arise, do not become upset. Ascension being in the between is like a small boat on a large river and its direction is easily changed. The power of the blessings of the gurus, your gurus, and the three jewels of refuge are inconceivable, and the strength of mantra and meditation is great. Therefore, have no fear. No matter what terrifying visions appear to you, understand them to be mere hallucinations. You're used to that, old stoner you. In fact, nothing whatsoever is really there to harm you, not even the tiniest speck of dust. You are dead now. And just as you have left all friends and relatives behind, so also they have they left you. Regard friends, relatives, and possessions like objects experienced in a dream, and be not attached to them. If you entertain attachment at this time, you will not be able to gain freedom from the terrors of the Lord of Death, nor from the lower realm. You should make every effort now to remain free from fear. If you can single pointedly abide in refuge, your spiritual guide in the three jewels, your spiritual guide, Maharaji, Name Karoli Baba to Dunjilit for a purpose to mention him by name. And the three jewels, body, speech, and mind of your Guru are the three jewels Buddha, Dharma, Sangha. The Buddha is the mind, Dharma is the speech, and 
Body is the Sangha, the three jewels. You will be able to escape rebirth in the lower realms. Therefore, make your thoughts firm and fix them on these subjects, not letting them deteriorate. Meditate that a channel, straight as an arrow, run down the center of your body and from the crown of your head to your navel. At your heart is your mind in the form of a white drop formed from light. It is the size of a pea, but buoyant and immaterial like fluff. The top, the top of the channel stands open at the crown like a gaping mouth. You visualize this in Ram Dass's prone body. As the following verses are chanted, visualize that Buddha Amitabha had summoned from Sukhavati the pure land of joy. He is in nature your own fear principal teacher. Coming from Sukhavati in a single moment, he rests above the aperture of your crown. Although actually it's better for you to see your actual Guru Maharaji sitting on the crown of your head, cross-legged with his blankie in a light body, light body of pure light, no organs and coarse materials in the body, pure light body. Better for you to see that in your open, upper aperture underneath is wide open and your central consciousness, your super subtle body-mind at your heart center is like this piece of fluff, okay? And now you're going to, we're going to help you drive it straight upwards out the central channel, through the central channel of the body of your guru into the infinite light, pure land space where you will have a body pure of light. Oh Guru, inseparable from Buddha Amitabha, you can think this thought as we recite it, together with your mystic entourage, come from the divine abode of the pure land of joy, Sukhavati, out of great compassion come forth, we pray, rest with pleasure above the crown of Baba Ramdas. I bow to you and make you every offering, I acknowledge my failings and rejoice in all goodness. Please turn the vast and profound wheel of Dharma. Remain in the world, never leaving us behind. All meritorious energy we dedicate in the cause of peerless enlightenment. The master of Maharaji then performs a mandala offering and recites the verses of prostration to the infinite life, Buddha of infinite life, as was done before. Then we recite, O fortunate child of no noble character, Baba Ramdas, the end of life is always death, and death divides not between young and old. Be aware of the significance of death and pay heed to these words. Let not your mind wander, but hold it tightly at the heart, your heart. O child, have no attachment to your corpse, nor for the wealth and property left behind, nor for former friends and relatives. Should attachment arise at this moment, there is the danger of rebirth as a ghost. But if you can stay free from attachment, you will attain the pure land of joy, Sukhavati. O oh child, the end of collecting is dispersal. The end of building is disintegration. The end of meeting is separation. And the end of birth is death. The name of your, the time of your death has arrived. But in this you are not unique. Death is the fate of all that lives. Know that you are now dead. But do not be disturbed by this knowledge. O oh, child, no one is more fortunate than you. No one need be happier than you. For on a lotus and moon above your head sits the all-kind, your all-kind root guru, nim karoli baba dajilei tenem te maharaji, inseparable in nature from Buddha Amitabha. Pray to him now to clear and open for you the pathway of the consciousness transference. Meditate with all your strength as you offer this prayer to him. Lord Amitabha, Buddha, boundless light, embodiment of the perfect objects of refuge, hero who saves living beings from glory, rebirth, navigator who leads beings to the pure land of joy, to you we turn in prayer. Protect the living beings from evil, free them from the dangerous passes, hold them back from the lower realms, guide them to Sukhavati, the supreme of all. These last two verses are repeated three times. The master of this, and all of, you, all of us visualize uh, that light rays in the form of hooks emanate from Maharaji Amitabha's heart and enter the crown aperture of Baba Ram Dass's body, coming to his her navel. In the process, the light strike against the drop at Baba Ram Dass's heart, 
which in nature is his mind, his super subtle soul mind. All the energies of the body respond as do iron filings to a magnet, and the fierce wind of energies arises from the navel below the drop. The master calls out the syllable, Hink! And we can all call it out, and I'll go one, two, three, when we get there on the drop, and the deceased heart jumps to the throat a second time, hick, it's called, and the drop out, the constant jumps from the throat to the forehead a third time, the master calls hick, and the dump drop comes to the crown, the master then shouts, part, and the drop of constant shoots out the crown aperture, coming to heart, Amitabha, we have one nature with them, Amitabha, the Buddha, Amitabha Maharaji, the Buddha of boundless life, instantly returns to Sukhanti, taking the contents of the disease with him, where it takes rebirth in a celestial form inside a lotus flower. From his heart, Amitabha emanates lights which strike the lotus, causing its petals to open. The deceased thus beholds the glorious face of Amitabha Buddha for the first time, and has the excellent fortune to listen to his listener-like voice. There he, she shall dwell in meditation until the state of perfect enlightenment has been attained. Mm, so now we all should rest in meditation upon this thought for a few moments and then conclude by offering prayers, etc. So now, okay, that's, I, I rehe we rehearsed that. Now we read this full time. And by the way, because of Baba Ram Das's name and because of his orientation and because of his teacher, Buddha, who is a Buddha, perfect Buddha, but has the form of a devotee of Hanuman and Ram, we will... And to Amitabha Buddha, because it's a boundless light anyway, not only the human form of Maharaji, but also the divine form of Hanuman. And we'll also invoke and add the form of Rama. And we'll invoke it in whichever way you prefer. That's Rama, the lone hero in that kind of blue form that you see in those wonderful Indian posters. Or as I would more esoterically to the form of Rama and Sita in union. I'm sorry, there's my tantric name. Uh, Tansita there, who's white. And this fits also beautifully with the name of King of Buddha Samantha Bhadra, who's a dark blue and then a, a, a brilliant white um, Samantha Bhadri. It's all holy, good female. But anyway, we do that. We do think, think of it that way. And let Ramda think of it that way. So that there's no contradiction. Boundless light simply manifests in all those forms. Now we read this together three times, you mentally enunciate as I read it. Lord Mamitabha, Buddha of boundless light, Rama, Rama, and Sita, great God Vishnu, Hanuman, great servant, powerful servant of great God Vishnu, and Nimkar Alibaba Maharaji, embodiment of the perfect objects of refuge, Heroes who save living beings from lower rebirth, navigators who lead beings to the pure land of joy, to you we turn in prayer, protect the living beings from evil, free them from the dangerous straits, it should be, hold them back from the lower realms, guide them to Sukhavati, the supreme abode. Lord Amitabha, Buddha of boundless light, as Rama and Sita and Hanuman and Maharaji, embodiment of the perfect objects of refuge, heroes who save living beings from pure slow or rebirth, navigators who lead beings to the pure land of joy, to you we turn in prayer. Protect the living beings from evil, free them from the dangerous passes, hold them back from the lower realms, guide them to Sukhavati, the supreme abode. Lord Amitabha, Buddha, boundless light, great Ram, Vishnu, and Sita, and Krishna, and Radha, and Hanuman, embodiment of the Hanuman, guardian of Himalayas also, savior of Tibet, progenitor and savior of Tibet and Tibetan, embodiment of the perfect objects of refuge, heroes who save living beings from lower rebirth, navigators who lead beings to the pure land of joy, of bliss, actually, is Sukhavati. To you we turn in prayer, to you all we turn in prayer. Protect the living beings from evil, free them from the dangerous passes, hold them back from the lower realm, guide them to Sukhavati, the supreme of all. Now we visualize the light face in the form of Luke 78 from Amitabha Maharaji, Anuman, Rama, Sita, Krishna, Vishnu's heart and go into Ram Das's body through the open aperture of the center, crown aperture of the central channel to come to his or her navel. In the process, the light strike against the drop and 
Baba Ram Das's heart, which is his super soul, our vision of his super soul, soul, body, mind, which in nature is his, her body, mind, all the little mini body, mind that can transform into any form, nothing broken, nothing, etc. Of course, all the energies of the body respond to iron filings, the magnet, they all draw together in that tiny drop, which is in total inconceivable, clear light, infinite, and a fierce wind of energies arises from the navel below the drop. And now we go all together. One, two, three. Hick! The drop of the disease hearts jump to his throat. One, two, three. Hick! And the drop of his consciousness jumps from his throat to his forehead. A third time. One, two, three. Hick! And the drop comes to the crown. We then shout together, one, two, three, tight! And the drop of consciousness shoots out the ground aperture, coming to the heart of Maharaji Amitabha Buddha to become of one nature with him. Maharaji Amitabha, Rama, Vishnu, Sita, Vishnu, Radha, Hanuman, Mrs. Hanuman, all of them instantly return to Sabhavati taking the consciousness of the disease to them, where it takes rebirth in a celestial form inside a lotus flower. From his heart, Amitabha, Maharaji, Rama, Sita, Vishnu, whoever emanates light, which strike the lotus, causing its petals to open. The disease thus beholds the glorious face of Maharaji, of Rama, of Sita, of Amitabha, Buddha, Vishnu, Krishna, whatever, for the first time, and has the excellent fortune to listen to his nectar-like voice. And there he shall dwell in meditation until the state of perfect enlightenment has been attained. Let us meditate on this together. Let us see Maharaji in that pure land, speaking to the magical body, mind, super subtle consciousness of Baba Ram Das now, whatever his celestial new name, speaking to him and saying, but still also Baba Ram Das saying, Ram Das, you spoke the truth. Ram Das, you loved everybody. I congratulate you, Ramdas. Now rest in Samadhi, perfect bliss, void in bliss, void, void means something in freedom, bliss, freedom, indivisible. Just rest in the Samadhi, bliss, freedom, indivisible. Uh, so such times we'll all go back out and to help all the remaining beings. Don't even think about it, it's all now. Future is now, past is now. May this person call such and such, call Baba Ramdas, who has passed beyond life and gone to the other side of the world, be free of desire to the beautiful forms of the world that are seen by the eye. May she, may he have the good fortune to enjoy the objects of sight, but to do so in such a way as to attain clear, highest enlightenment. May he have no attachment to the melodious sounds heard by the ear, but have the good fortune to enjoy the objects of hearing, as bliss, freedom, indivisible, to attaining a clear, perfect enlightenment. May he have no attachment to the sweet fragrances perceived by the nose, but have the good fortune to enjoy objects of scent in such a way as to attain clear, highest enlightenment. 
They have no attachment to the many tastes of the world, but have the good fortune to enjoy the various foods in such a way as to attain clear health enlightenment. May, she ha may he have no attachment to sensual contact produced by touch, but have the good fortune to enjoy the objects of the body in such a way as to quickly attain clear highest enlightenment. In brief, may he have no attachment to any of the objects of sensory experience, but have the good fortune to enjoy those objects of the five senses in such a way as bliss freedom indivisible as to quickly attain clear highest enlightenment. O oh, child who has passed from life, you must leave behind all relatives and friends. Have no desire for them, but make ready to meet now with endless goodness. Have no desire for the five century spheres, but may you have the good fortune to enjoy the objects of the senses as a means to attain highest enlightenment and a celebration of this highest enlightenment of bliss void and divisible. May you be purified in body, speech, and mind by the most precious jewel light arising from the supreme field of gems, the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha, the body, speech, and mind of your Guru, and the Ram and your deity Ram. May you quickly traverse the five paths leading to the highest enlightenment, the paths of accumulation of goodness, preparation, vision, meditation, and the peerless path beyond all education. May you gain this fifth path, which is beyond all obscuration, the path of final liberation, May you purify every negative tendency and reach the stage of every perfection. At this point in the ritual, the master of the right generates conviction that the deceased has definitely taken rebirth in Sukhavati, the pure land of bliss. Now, earlier in the ritual, the corpse was made into a repository of all negative karmas, evil tendencies, and spiritual obscuration possessed by Baba Ram Das, and then previously in this way, the mind of the deceased was separated from all shortcomings and negative traits. Thus, it is the corpse as a repository of the deceased's negativity that is the substance to be consumed by the fires of wisdom. With this as the meditation, the master calls out, so we, and we ourselves must not be attached to this corpse, just as we don't want the spiritual soul body, super subtle soul body of the of Baba Ram Das to be attached to his previous body as Baba Ramdas, Richard Alpert, so we shouldn't be attached to that body ourselves, and that therefore we, without a sense of guilt or regret, we offer it to the crematory, fire, flame. Child of noble family, grant me your attention. You have died and passed away. Hear me now. The blazing fire of the five Buddha wisdoms is consuming as fuel your five contaminated aggregates. Child of noble family, grant me your attention. You have died and passed away. Hear me now. The blazing fire of the four mindfulnesses is consuming as fuel your four contaminated elements. Child of noble family, grant me your attention, you who have died and passed away, hear me now. The blazing fire of the altruistic spirit of enlightenment is consuming as fuel your six contaminated sensory power. Child of noble family, grant me your attention, you who have died and passed away, hear me now. The blazing fire of the six wisdom angel Dakinis is consuming as fuel the six contaminated objects of perception. Child of noble family, grant me your attention, you who have died and passed away, hear me now. The blazing fire of the three Buddha bodies is consuming as fuel your body, speech, and mind, your course of previous body, speech, and mind. In order to benefit all beings, may the deceased attain this instant the three perfect Buddha bodies himself and the five him herself itself and the five transcendental wisdoms. Homage to Vaidho Chana, the Buddha of radiant form, he who shows the seal of supreme enlightenment, whose Vajra body is the Dharma realm, the reality realm wisdom, the space of ignorance transformed into the wisdom of radiant emptiness. Homage to Vajra Akshobhya, the unmoving, undisturbed Buddha, he who shows the Buddha seal of the, the gesture of subduing evil, whose Vajra body is the mirror-like wisdom, the earth of attachment transformed into Vajra stability. How much to Ratna Sambhava, the self-born jewel, he who shows the gesture of supreme generosity, whose Vajra jewel body is the wisdom of equality, the fires of anger transformed into blazing Vajra gems. How much to Amitabha, Buddha of boundless light, he who holds this, the gesture of perfect meditation, whose Vajra body is the all-distinguishing wisdom, the water of lust transformed into diamond knowledge. How much to Amoga Siddhi, Bhada, Buddha, all accomplishing activity, he who holds the, the, the gesture of giving refuge, whose Vajra body is the all accomplishing wisdom, the winds of jealousy transformed into Vajra action. 
Thus is complete the ritual for, of caring for the dead. The Master should conclude by reciting a hundred syllable mantra and offering prayers for the long life of the Guru. He sees you also adorn the end with a few verses of dedication of merit and prayers for auspicious conditions to fulfill the world with happiness, peace, and joy. Any benefits? Blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, well, <laughs> you're, you're done. They're, oh, it's Siri? Okay, Siri, you came and you go and make this for Siri. Don't, don't slave away for Google or Apple, whatever you want. <laughs> so, so, Michael, now you go. Maybe I have to do it. Give me the picture. It's just a Xerox picture. And then where's the light? We take it outside and just do you can do it. Do you can do it. I, just, I might stumble on all the time. Just light it, light it up. No attachment. No regret. Perfect joy. Did you say they actually do this tomorrow in Hawaii? All right? Amazing. We did it. I do feel we did it. I really like this. Except, you know, I didn't translate it so well. But this is that little bit extra so.